This is Travis with Diesel Laptops. Today we're hooked in the Texas Off Highway module to a John Deere 8030 series tractor here. We'll scroll on down here and find the 8030 series and John Deere. Of course, tractor again. We're going to do the system scan today and we'll be on the 9 pin adapter. Give this just a second and it'll prompt us through. It's going to connect this like most of your other John Deere's just going to be your standard 9 pin connection on the dash of the machine. And click the check mark here. Okay. And the system scan is basically just going to scan through, ping for all your different modules. Any of them that you'll see that will come up red, it pinged for, but that module is not on this particular particular tractor. Or, or in some cases it may not be responding if you have a problem there but anything yellow will actually have a code in it and you'll see that in just a minute whenever we connect if we have any that have codes but green of course nothing wrong it read the module everything's fine in the module but you can still enter in and read your different parameters there first one we're going to go into is the transmission and we'll just double click this and navigate our way around through it and give it a second to connect Ignition is on. Okay. John Deere stuff's pretty quick to connect here. No faults, but under the parameters, you got 14 different ones here. These are your auxiliary pressure sensors, some different RPMs, temperatures, percentages. Your status is here. It's going to tell you what's present, what's not present. And then, of course, your settings preservation there and your clutches. We'll go through the software configurations and serial numbers. But under your settings here, you're going to actually have clutch calibration. It's a good one to have here. And we'll end communication here and we'll move on to the next module. This just a second. We'll back up and we'll have distributors next. And connect in. Once again, fairly quick to connect here. Confirm. And there it goes. Okay, no faults. Bunch of parameters here. We've got 16 different parameters. Coupler valves, some different amperages there. We'll go through the statuses, tell you, you know, over at circuits or equipment CAN bus devices, what's present, what's not. ECU information is going to be the same thing, your pins. Um, Configuration of the hydraulic coupler under activations. But if we'll back out of this and move on to the next one. Okay, back up one more and we'll go into the cab control next. Okay. And we'll hit confirm again. Give this just a second. Once again, this one was green, so we actually have no active faults, but under your parameters here, you're going to have 35 different ones. It's going to tell you what's off, what's on. Some more voltages here for your sensors. you got your clutch pedals, your left brake pedal, your right brake pedals, and some calibration values down on the bottom. But under your statuses, it'll tell you what's not enabled, what's not present. And of course, ECU information, same as before. Some software versions, serial numbers. And activations just has your error clearing on this one. We'll back out of this, and there we go. Okay, we're going to move into the engine module next, which, as you can see, is yellow. We have a code. And confirm. Okay, and as you can see, these are memory codes. They're both inactive, but you can double-click them and get your error code and your FMI. Under your parameters, once this loads up, it'll populate as you scroll down here. But you've got 88 different parameters, and you can double-click them to graph them if you need to. But let me move on down the line and target some rail pressures, drive shaft, fuel temperatures, battery voltages. Good many parameters here. Uh, real turbo speeds. Of course, the engine's not running right now, so you're not going to see these changing. But ECU info, same deal, a little more ECU information. Your activations, that's where you're going to have your cylinder cutoffs, your EGR valve cleanings, some misfire tests. But 
slide over here to your settings and you got your EGR valve calibrations, your injector programmings, and reprogramming your VGT learning there. We'll back out of this and we'll go into this last module here. All right, and that'll be your rear hydraulic lift. Double click here. Okay, and ignition's on again. Okay, no fault codes again, but parameters. You've got 24 different ones in here for your lift control and oil temperatures. Um, some switch off commands, which faults, once again, none. Statuses, what's active, what's not. And then you're going to have your electric calibration here. Thanks for watching.